So this is the notable verge at Fernside Road, Fern Road, which had orchids in it and has been mowed regularly now, although it used to be mowed once a week as part of their management plan. Here is the other part of the application. What, uh, what have they got in mind here? Well, what they're aiming to do is uh, the path on which we're standing now will be dropped down perpendicular to the road to allow a uh, more irregular size, more regular sized plot. And they're going to build some detached houses, 14 of them, um, on a line with the edge of my garage over there. So the actual front of the houses will be level with that, five metres from the road. Whereas you can see all the houses in the street are actually set back 10 metres. So if we go back along here, one, two, three, four, to about here is the line where the houses are. Now, what the effect of that will be is that these semi-detached houses will close the road down and uh, will give it a sort of a, a, a more of a claustrophobic feel, whereas the rest of the estate, the houses are all set back. So why did they choose not to, not to set them al aligned uh, with the I other houses? I suspect it's to do with the ground, because the ground here is very unstable, uh, there are springs, uh, the previous developer in the 60s actually put the footings in here, um, but they kept filling with water, so they filled them in and never developed. And is there subsidence? Yeah, yes, well, I've, uh, I've had subsidence on the little porch on the edge of my house because it basically wasn't, under, it wasn't secured properly with the footings, but the main house is, has, has been okay. But if you turn around this way, you can see down towards the road there, these heaps in the, in the land are where this has slipped down. It's already been reinstated once by the council when no one knew who owned the land. Uh, and it's still slipping away now. So it's a very, very unstable piece of land. Oh, gosh. 